One Up Super Duty Super Duty Bike Review. Comes out of the box like this, fully assembled. All you have to do is slide the trays over and then put the locks in the up position and it's ready to go on the car. And there's a little track right here. And lock it down. Not the easiest rack to fold down. Let's do a quality control test with the magnet. So the bolts are steel, that's about it. This bike weighs 57 pounds. Because of the low profile, it really makes it easy to reach over. Right on the edge. The wheelbase on this bike is 1,322 millimeters and we are pushing it on the edge. I can't do it. Okay. I'm legitimately scared. That is terrible design for tilting. So at this point, it's kind of sketchy because you have to hold the bike. And then you can pop it into that side. I have to support the bike. While it's kind of a double-handed task. Oh. It's not the best rack to unload, to be fair and square. <laughs> Interference issue. So honestly, watching the bikes in the rear view mirror, I'm afraid to go any faster over the speed bumps. And I'm coming to realize that uh, this rock, not exactly stable. I thought this was the benchmark four by four bike rack. And in reality, it's not stable at all. The one up rack is undoubtedly a high value product that's gonna last you a long time. Not to mention its competitive price point and being made in the USA. It's super low profile, adjustable trailer tongue, and literally all metal construction. It's the smallest bike rack box you're ever gonna get, making storage super easy. Not to mention the setup is the easiest on the market. Extremely unstable with two heavy e-bikes. I was afraid to go any faster over the speed bumps because they were literally hitting each other. I thought this was the benchmark in off-road bike racks. In reality, it's really not a stable way to carry your bike by clamping the tires. Unloading this rack is not easy. It's not for the everyday person. I'm very able-bodied. This rack is for hardcore mountain bikers and people with strong hands. Not to mention, it's really hard to fold down with one bike on. I struggled and I'm super capable. The quality of the locking system is complete garbage. Why build this super high-end aluminum rack and then give you Walmart locks. I don't wanna discourage you from buying this rack. I just wanna highlight what I found. If you're interested in saving a ton of money on your bike rack and carrying any bike on the market, click this video here.